Hi everyone, my name is Karolina and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, please subscribe. Also, I'd appreciate a lot if you can support me with some likes as it will help my channel to grow. And also, do not forget to push the bell button so you are always notified whenever I upload new videos. So, in today's video, guys, I'd like to share with you my favorite autumn fragrances, which I really love a lot and I use them almost on a daily basis. So, without no further ado, let's get straight into the topic. So, the first fragrance which I'd like to share with you guys is from Abercrombie & Fitch Authentic for Women. So, this fragrance was created in 2019 by uh, Clement Gavary. I hope I pronounced it correctly. And um, the main accords are fruits, floral, sweet, fresh, woody, citrus, musky and powdery. So definitely I can say that I feel a lot of fruits here because I feel when I spray it on my skin I feel a little bit sweet and at the same time I feel a little bit of sour in it like from fruits and um, actually it's um, very true because the top notes are pear, mandarin orange and red currant. And definitely I can say that I can feel mandarin and mandarin orange and red currant and this sour taste and this sour smell comes exactly from this red currant which I love a lot. This is my the most enjoyable or you know the favorite type of note in all the fragrances and um, all the other notes which I will tell you a little bit later. All, all the notes which are were mixed in this fragrance are just absolutely amazing. Uh, I, this is my second bottle from, for this uh, fragrance because I love it a lot and I use it you know, all the time. Um, I do not use it just in autumn, I use it um, all the year around um, in different seasons because it gives me you know, these good vibes, it, it makes me feel very good, uh, it makes me feel very playful, girlish at the same time, feminine, you know, it makes me be very energetic, energized, so whenever I feel a little bit down and without, you know, mood or a little bit sad, I just need to spray a couple of, you know, sprays on my skin, on my body and this fragrance makes really a lot for me because it makes me feel completely different. So I really advise you to, I really advise you to try this one if you haven't yet. I'm sure that a lot of people would like this one because it's very light, it's not heavy on your skin, it's very playful, you know, with you, it's very joyful at the same time. So yeah, if you haven't tried it yet, please try it. And yeah, Abercrombie & Fitch, thank you so much for this fragrance, for, for these, you know, notes and, and that you created this one because it's really, really good. It's very good, I would say. Not just quality-wise it is very good, but price-wise also is very, very good because it's very affordable. And the silage is very good on, on, on you because, you know, when you, whenever you walk, you leave this very pleasant smell behind you and, you know, it stays on my skin for all day, for all day. But if I spray on my clothes, they are staying up until I put them to washing machine. So, it's a very good fragrance and I really adore this one a lot and hopefully, and I beg you, you know, Abercrombie & Fitch, do not um, uh, remove it from your, from your collection and please make it more in the future because I'm definitely going to buy this as long as it exists on the market because it's really, really, really good. So, as I mentioned before, top notes are pear, mandarin orange, red currant, Middle notes are Nectarine, Magnolia, Lily of the Valley and the base notes are Umbret or Musk Mallow, Cedar and Sandalwood, which is amazing. And all this mixture of these notes gives you this, you know, as I mentioned before, gives you this amazing feeling of being joyful, being playful, uh, giving you a lot of good vibes, making you to feel so great, so nice. So yeah, I definitely recommend to try this one out. The second fragrance which I also like a lot and it stays on my, uh, it stays the second in my list, this is uh, Calvin Klein Endless Euphoria. So let me tell you what are the main accords. So this is floral, citrus, woody, powdery, rose, fresh, violet, fruity and musky. So this perfume was launched in 2014 and the nose behind this fragrance is Bruno Yavanovic. Hopefully I pronounced his name correctly. So the top notes are cherry blossom, mandarin orange, bergamot, the middle notes are rose, violet, syringa and the base notes are bamboo, musk and sandalwood. And 
whenever I spray, I do the first spray, I definitely can feel the cherry blossom and a little bit of um, a little bit of mandarin orange. Not that much bergamot, unfortunately, I cannot feel it at all. But after a couple of seconds, instantly I can start feeling the rose, the violet, and syringa definitely. But the most I can feel the rose and violet. They are very persistent. I can feel them in a very strong way. Um, unfortunately, I cannot say that the, you know um, it can stay very long on my skin. Uh, during the day, probably I need to spray twice uh, so I can refresh it once again, you know, so you can or other people can feel it on me. But uh, nevertheless, it's very fresh, it's very feminine fragrance, it's very light fragrance, it's not heavy. I would say that it's a good one to, to go to office as well if you like something like flowery, if you like something, you know, very light, which makes you feel very, again, feminine and, you know, like, playful again, maybe joyful to This fragrance, by the way, gives me this feeling of being calm, so if I want, you know, to kind of temperate myself, I can spray it on me, so I have this feeling of, you know, warmth and uh, of very pleasant, you know, feelings. So yeah, I would recommend this one to try as well, if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think about um, you know my choice and if you have some of these fragrances again I would really appreciate if you can comment uh, below what you think about this one if you like them or not and maybe share with me which is your favorite fragrance for autumn or winter time the next fragrance which I'd like to share with you guys this is from Lacoste for Femme Timeless so the main um, the main upwards are white flowers citrus woody and rose this fragrance was launched in 2019 by Olivier and it was created by Olivier Cresp. So the top notes are mandarin orange, rose and Bulgarian rose. I can definitely say that I feel here rose. Unfortunately, I do not feel that much orange, mandarin orange, which is sadly because I like that note a lot in, um, in the fragrances here. I do not feel it almost at all. It's a very, very, you know, subtle uh, note when you spray it it instantly disappears and after that the rose you can feel uh, a lot and it's very you know like pers present here and persistent as well after that the middle notes are gardenia jasmine sunbug and orange blossom and i can definitely say that personally me i feel a lot of orange blossom which is great i always like white flowers in the fragrances it makes me feel very feminine very light in a good mood, you know, makes me feel also cheerful, joyful, playful sometimes and it also makes me feel very warm and cozy, you know, and very kind of like gives me this, you know, a little bit of fluffiness if I can call it like that, which is quite great, which I'm looking for, you know, in autumn or in spring as well when, you know, it's not very hot, it's chilly sometimes and you want to have this warmth a little bit. So this fragrance gives me that feeling and I'm, I'm very happy about that. And the base notes are sandalwood, olibanum and patchouli. Definitely I can say that I feel a little bit of sandalwood and patchouli. I do not feel too much olibanum and um, I think that it stays on my skin that long thanks to these notes. It doesn't stay um, the all day on my skin, so if I want to feel it in the evening, I need to spray it twice a day, like in the morning and in the evening or close to evening. But uh, yeah, um, besides that, it has a good silage because uh, my friends tell me that you know whenever I walk, they can feel it behind me, so which is nice. So yeah, if you haven't tried it, please try because most probably you will like it because it's very light, it's not very heavy. So yeah, it gives me everything I want from, you know, from, from this type of fragrances. The other fragrance which I really love a lot, this is, this is Hypnos. Hopefully I pronounce it correctly, from, from Lancome. And uh, as you can see, I have here a full uh, size bottle. I think it's 75 ml or 100, I don't remember anymore. Um, 75 ml. So I received uh, this fragrance as a gift because um, 
I told that person that uh, I would love to have this uh, fragrance once again in my collection. So the first time when I tried this fragrance, uh, I was around 15 or 16 years old. It was given to me by my father. It was a gift when he came from abroad. You know, he brought me in uh, a beautiful box this fragrance with uh, some body lotion as well with the same uh, fragrance inside of it. And um, that back uh, back in time it was 50 ml, and I remember how. Uh, carefully I was you know using it so I can keep it for a long time actually it stays very long on the skin so you don't need to spray a lot of times because after that it can feel a little bit heavy so for me personally one or two sprays are enough and yeah coming back to that story I remember that that fragrance I used I think in three years so it was my first if I can say luxury you know fragrance and that stayed in my mind, in my memory, so that's why I wanted to have it once again. So thanks to, to this person I, I have this uh, fragrance in my collection now. And as I mentioned, it's, uh, it's, a very, it's a little bit heavier than the previous one which I described to you. So let's see what are the main accords. So the main accords are vanilla, floral, white floral, fruity, sweet, powdery, tropical, aromatic, woody and earthy. I wouldn't say that I can feel here a lot of fruits and tropical uh, awkwards, which is quite interesting why they said that they are present here, but anyways. This fragrance was uh, launched in 2015 and it was created by Anik uh, Menardo and Thierry Wasser. Hopefully I pronounced their names correctly. The top notes, the top notes is passion flower, the middle notes are jasmine and gardenia, and base notes are vanilla and vetiver. It's quite interesting because it doesn't have uh, a lot of notes, but the mixture of all these notes made this fragrance to be a very, very attractive one, very feminine as well, you know, very kind of um, a little bit mysterious maybe. So whenever I put this fragrance, it gives me this feeling of being, you know, kind of warm, being very calm, being very feminine, being um, mysterious at the same time a little bit. Um, so yeah, that's that's a mixture of feelings and I love this fragrance a lot as I mentioned before. One thing I wanted to say that whenever I spray it, at first, you know, a couple of minutes I can feel chocolate. I don't know why I have this feeling. Please let me know if someone else has this feeling as well because that's something interesting. Nobody else from my friends which I asked, they do not feel this type of, you know, <laughs> this smell, like chocolatey smell. So I'm curious if anyone out there has this um, same, you know, type of uh, assessment when they try to, you know, to smell this fragrance. I think that maybe it's because of this vanilla together with vetiver, could be this, you know, mixture between them together. I don't know. I'm Unfortunately, I do not create fragrances, but yeah, that's something which I wanted to share with you guys. Anyways, if you feel that you would like to have something like that, you know, I would say that this fragrance goes mostly for autumn uh, and winter time, and also it would go uh, very well for like special events, maybe in the evening, yeah. So if you haven't tried it and you'd like to see how it feels, maybe you can go to some you know, fragrance shop and try it first of all to see how it smells, but I would definitely recommend this one as this is a very good fragrance in my opinion and it's not very expensive at the same time, it's very kind of affordable I would say. So, yeah. Last but not least, I'd like to share with you another fragrance from Abercrombie & Fitch, Authentic Night for Women. So the main accords in this fragrance are woody, fruity, white floral, tuberose, floral, patchouli, soft spicy, green, warm spicy and animalic. I wouldn't say that I feel a lot of green and white floral accords, unfortunately, uh, but uh, all the rest I can definitely feel the presence of them. So this perfume or this fragrance was launched in 2020. And the top notes are black currant, apple, and pink pepper. And boys and girls, if you like black currant in the fragrance, I definitely recommend to have this one because this mixture, this mixture of these uh, top notes makes this fragrance to feel very luxury, very expensive one. Although it is very affordable, so yeah, 
If you haven't tried it, definitely can recommend this one. The middle notes are Tuby Rose, Jasmine Sambac and Magnolia. I love a lot, as I mentioned before, I just love uh, white flowers uh, present, you know, being present in the fragrance. It gives this feminine feeling, it gives this very light, uh, you know, feeling of the flowers, like a little, it makes you feel a little bit warm at the same time. I like this a lot and playful, you know, like, like a young girl, which is very, very lovely. And the base notes are patchouli, sandalwood and cedar. All of this I can definitely feel when the fragrance settles on my skin, you know, and after a couple of hours I definitely can feel this kind of woodiness and animalic, you know, notes and accords, which is quite great. Uh, I would say that this fragrance needs to be worn, you know, in the evening for special occasions because the title says the same, it's authentic night. And also I would wear this, you know, in very cold season like autumn or winter. I wouldn't wear this at the office because it's a little bit not for this occasion. It will feel a little bit heavy, it will feel too much, you know, too much playful, too much energy for going maybe to the party or to some very, you know, kind of dancing event or something like that. So I wouldn't recommend to wear this one for, for the office. But uh, all the rest is very good. Besides that, this, the fragrance is very nice and the price is very affordable. The design is also very, it's very nice. So they, they knew what they make, yeah? Because whenever I take this bottle, I always want to play with it because it is on the magnet thing. So whenever you want to close it, just, it it's amazing, really. The feeling is just cool and great. So yeah, if you haven't tried this fragrance before, I would definitely recommend to try this one out because it really makes, makes you feel like very very good at least it makes me feel very good so yeah so that's all for today girls and guys thank you so much for taking the time to stay with me to listen to my feedback about these fragrances i'll try to find all the links where you can find you know these fragrances if they are still available i hope that none of them is discontinued and hopefully they will not be discontinued ever because they're great but um yeah that's all for today i wish you a great day or a great evening depends where you are based Take care of yourself and of your beloved ones and see you in my next videos, guys. Bye!